Yo! Yo! Your boy flies in on a legend helicopter. Nah, I didn't hit it. I'm not gonna hit it. Maybe next game, bro. Maybe next game. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, we out! We out, cuz! Yo! Wait, what is this? Yo! You do get a tiger! I'm fucking done! Yo! Look at my stream! I'm fucking done! Welcome back to the channel, man. Today I'm gonna be bringing y'all boys through the experience and the evolution of the rep system in 2K. All the way from 2K15 all the way until 2K24. That's where you cue the sad music and the emotional and all the booze, tomatoes, things of that nature. But like I'm saying, I will be bringing y'all boys through the evolution of 2K rep. Boy, oh boy, did we have a downfall, like a complete avalanche, like Ronnie 2K and LD 2K literally grabbed the game with their two bare hands and threw it off a cliff, bro. It is so sad to see, bro. Making this video made me realize that we're going backwards. And if you guys haven't already checked out my last video, make sure y'all check that out. I did a little nostalgia on the 2K16. I'm about to drop a part two with the 2K17 and what we're missing out on there. Yeah, man, looking at everything that's been going on over the 2K news over the last couple days, bro, I'm really not even that excited, bro. It's really just our turn to make the community a better place, bro. Without a 2K community, there is no game. A lot of people are expecting a game to make the community when they not doing nothing they self, bro. But let me, enough of the fucking yapping, bro. Let's get straight into it. I hope you boys enjoy. Drop a like if you're new here. Drop a sub if you're new here. Go check out my Twitch if you're new here. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Now, for those who've been living under a rock or are too young to remember this, 2K15 was actually the first my park that had rep. 2K14 had a park, but it had no rep. So 2K15 had the simplest rep system that we've ever seen in the 2K. Seeing that it was the first park to even have rep, it just went from rookie one to rookie three, pro one to three, and the same thing all the way up to legend one and legend three. 2K15 did not under deliver for the rep system. The rep system was worked very, very well. You know, the rewards that you got from 2K weren't the greatest, but they were a pickup from last year. You know, at Legend 3, we got the first mascots. At Legend 1, you got to take the shirt off. Legend 2 gave you a bonus to steals, I believe, and to game winning shots. And, you know, All Star, Pro, and Rookie all had similar rep rewards, but it just felt fun, bro. And hitting Legend 3 this year in 2K15, it wasn't an impossible task, bro. Like, if you look at the screenshot that I'm about to repost, dude only had like 800 wins, bro, and like 500 rec games, bro. People do that on the casual now, bro. 2K15 was more of like a chill game where a casual person can hit the top rep, but it was just an experience, you know? Nowadays, we need that big ground because it's definitely people that will be able to hit Legend 3 in the first week or so, bro. And if I'm not crazy, I think that's what happened in 2K15 anyways, but... It was just so much different. Like the rec center was different. They give you the most rep, things of that nature. But that's enough for 2K15. Really fun game. Really kind of dull game as well. Not the greatest, but on the 2K16. So now we're getting into the golden age of 2K, bro. Like I said, if y'all haven't already watched my old 2K16 video, I basically already ran through everything that goes down in 2K16. 2K16 had a similar rep system to 2K15. They just expanded it instead of it being rookie one to rookie three it was now rookie one to rookie five pro one to pro five all-star one you know and so on and so forth all the way until legend bro this game was different because they gave us different rewards than they did last year something 2k can't do now bro you're gonna start to see a trend that's going on with these 2k games where it feels like we reached a peak and then we started to deflate I don't know if it's something behind closed doors, but hey, none of my business, but you know, 2K gave us the tiger this year and they gave us different animations that we never seen. 2K16 was basically a lot of people in the community to this day, their favorite 2K they ever played. And it's obvious why bro, like if you didn't play the game, you really wouldn't understand, but it just felt like a really rewarding game, bro. So if you missed out on it, I apologize, bro. I wish I could take this back to the times that you could play this shit all over again, but you can't. But now we're about to move on to 2K17. Now 2K17 
was the most controversial 2K we had ever seen. Not only did we somewhat have the same parks that we did in 2K16, they actually put River City back into a factory, which was super disrespectful when you look back on it now. 2K17 had way better rep rewards. Unfortunately, we still had the same rep system that we had for the past two years. So a wise man once said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's exactly what they went for. And we loved it, bro. It was kind of a copy and paste game, but the dribbling was on point. But that's for a whole different video. Like I said, 2K16 was a fan favorite for a lot of people. The rep system was good, really basic game. Everybody kind of had fun, but now we on to 2K18. <sighs> I apologize in advance for all the 2K18 fanboys and people who actually enjoy this game. I don't know who you are, but this game was straight hot garbage. This game felt like one of the 2K devs told everybody to sit around a table and let me cook and this is what he cooked up this right here this is exactly what he cooked up and he thought it was a good product to put out i'm only going to spend around one to two minutes even talking about this rep system but i'm going to save you boys some time you buy vc for your player to max it out and that gets you to an 85 just like every other 2k but when you finally play a game instead of you getting vc to upgrade your player hmm now you level up to get your overall up just let that sink in my nigga you have to play part games to level up your overall but that wasn't even the biggest problem there were multiple problems like the fact that the top rep was achieved in my career whoever played the most my career games was top rep why does that make sense my nigga why another problem that this game had was if you decided that you didn't like the build that you were grinding and you said hmm i'm gonna buy some more vc to make another player all your rep is gone bro all of it all them two hours two weeks two months gone 2k18 for you fellas now for 2k19 i'm not even gonna give you boys the runaround this game was exactly like 2k18 the road to 99 was still in the game nothing really changed only thing you got was a little banner under your player card. I'm not even going to pull a picture up, bro. There's no point in me even wasting time. You know, one thing I will say about 18 and 19 is that they were really good games. The reward was really good. You want to know what they gave you when you hit 98 overall? They gave you this, my nigga. Look at this, bro. You're telling me you played the game for eight months to get this? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Pass me the 2K20 already, bro. Now, for 2K20, they finally took our advice. The road to 99 is gone. They had a golden opportunity to give us a new rep system, and they came through. Big W's, my nigga. Big W's. They gave us the rep system back, which everybody highly requested for it, bro. I'm going to put it up on screen right here. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I believe it was rookie one through five again, and then superstar legend. Um, really good game, bro. It was really fun. Um, everybody hated 2K20 when it first came out, but eventually we were stuck with it because of COVID, and a lot of people fell in love with the game just off of that. Being stuck in the house during COVID, bro, you got nothing to do. You hop on the game with the niggas on 2K, bro. 2K20 definitely saved the day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. 2K20 was a W, bro. The rep system was good. The dribbling was good. The stage looked good, bro. Everything was just good, bro. I, I actually like this 2K, bro. This is one of my favorites, bro. 2K also added a uh, hidden rep reward that nobody knew about, which was the helicopter. And I think that was one of the biggest Ws that we took as a community in a long time. Because a lot of people grinded for that and a lot of people wanted it. But let's get to 2K21. As I was editing this video, I realized that um, 2K20 and 2K21 had the exact same rep rewards and um, they kind of divided the community with the next gen and current gen. So we're just going to keep 2K21 out because I literally feel like it was a copy and paste game. So yeah, we're just going to head straight over to 2K22. All right. So for 2K22, we got something that we never seen before. Um, obviously, the community was divided in current gen and next gen, but we all had this brand new feature called Seasons, bro. And seasons stayed with 2K all the way into 2K23. Around these times of 2K21, 2K22, 2K23, they all kind of felt recycled. So I feel like there's no need for me to even add 2K23 
on this list as well we're gonna keep it out we're just gonna all combine them together 2k22 and 2k23 but we got seasons bro so i th believed every season lasted 50 days or 60 days and every rep reward would change based on which season you was in so i believe we got a go-kart we got um skates we got all types of things bikes tricycles um I really don't remember. I didn't play 2K22 all like that. At this point, I really didn't care about 2K22 or 2K23 all like that because, you know, it just felt really divided with the whole different consoles, like with next gen and current gen. So a lot of people stopped playing 2K around this time. The 2K community has been really dead ever since this because, you know, even though we're getting seasons, we weren't getting the rewards we wanted to, bro. So it kind of just drove everybody away from the game. Like it felt like, why was I playing it? And nobody really liked that their rep was getting reset because you can't tell a good player from a bad player, bro. And now that brings us to 2K24, bro. See, I have a screenshot of what the rep system looks like, but I can't post it because I don't want 2K taking my video down. Fact, this is a banger video I just brought to y'all. And if I post it, they're going to take it away from me. But y'all can feel free to go on Twitter and go look for it yourself. But yeah, no, uh, they're bringing back the old rep system that we used to like, the one that was in 2K20 and i believe in 2k21 as well it seems like it's going to be a really good year i don't want to speak on the game too early if you boys like this video make sure y'all drop me a like y'all subscribe y'all let me know if y'all want a part two um i'm gonna keep dropping bangers for you boys i appreciate y'all y'all mean the world to me i actually had a lot of fun recording this video so if you guys liked it i would appreciate it if you guys would drop a like i will see you guys next time